Yes, students. So today we are going to start with uh, the subject that is called as systems in mechanical engineering. And th in this subject, we have uh, different types of uh, systems which are available in mechanical engineering. So we will start with our first unit that is introduction to energy sources and its conversion. And in first lecture, we will see uh, what is meant by energy, uh, what is meant by power, what are the different energy sources. And we will see the first power plant based on your uh, unit number one, that is thermal, or it is also called as steam power plant. Okay. So let's start the lectures. So we have the first concept uh, that is about what is meant by energy, or we can say it is an introduction of energy. Now, uh, energy is nothing but the capacity to do work. Okay, so it is called as energy, which is nothing but the capacity to do work. It is called as energy. So it is the capacity to do work and. Uh, there may be uh, energy. We know that uh, law of conservation of energy, that energy can be converted from one, uh, converted to various forms, but uh, not created or not destroyed. So the various forms of energy, it may be uh, potential energy, it may be kinetic energy, thermal energy, electrical energy, chemical energy, nuclear energy, so these are the different forms of energy uh, that is available in uh, in a uh, source or we can say in a universe. So there are different parts of this uh, energy. It may be uh, Either it may be a solar energy or it may be any forms of energy. So that energy we will see one by one. So first we will see what is the unit of energy. If you see uh, the unit of energy. So it has a unit that is mainly that SI unit of energy is Joule. Okay, So Joule, Joule is the SI unit of the energy. And there are various other types of energy units, which is named as uh, this uh, Joule. And this, uh, we can say the unit of this energy is Joule, which is named in the honor of uh, the James Joule. Okay. So we have this first is the energy. It is nothing but the capacity for doing the work. Okay. Now we have another concept that is called as a power. So power is defined as the rate at which the work is done. So that is called as a power. So we convert that energy into a power. Okay. So there are different forms of energy that we convert that energy into a power. So power is nothing but the rate at which we done some work or work is done. So that is known as a power. So mathematically, we can have power is equals to work upon time. Okay, so P is equals to W upon time. So W is nothing but the work done. P is the time and P is the power. So the unit of uh, power, it is nothing but the uh, work has unit Joule. That is nothing but the energy. So that is Joule and time is second. So Joule per second, it is the main unit of power. And that unit is called as Watt. Joule per second, it is called as Watt. So again, this Watt unit is named after a uh, well-known scientist, that is James Watt, who is the uh, inventor of your steam engine. So this is the basic concept regarding energy and power. Now, if you see, uh, There are other unit of this power also. That is, one is Joule per second. It is also called as Watt. Another unit is, it may be kilowatt. 
uh, another unit is it may be megawatt then another unit is horsepower so these are the some unit of power that we mainly used in case of energy or in case of power now we'll see the different forms of energy now basically there are mainly uh, two forms of energy one is uh, six basic forms of energy and there are different other forms of energy also so first we will see uh, the six basic forms of energy so first energy it is chemical energy second one it is electrical energy third one it is radiant energy fourth one it is mechanical energy fifth thermal energy and the sixth that is the nuclear so these are the basic forms of energy now we have another types of forms of energy that is called as other forms of energy like it may have a sound energy then we have electromagnetic radiation then we have electrochemical energy then surface energy so these are the different forms of energy now this uh, either it may be a basic forms or uh, it may be other forms they are mainly classified into uh, two types of energy one is called as a kinetic energy and another one is a potential energy so according to the law of conservation of energy we know that uh, each of these form it can be converted from one form to another form so that states that that second law you know, law of conservation of energy it states that the energy can neither be created nor be destroyed but it may transform from one form to another so if you take an example so when we burn some wood or some fuel like gasoline or natural gas uh, it changes its chemical energy into a thermal or mechanical energy okay so when we burn some coal or gasoline or natural gas so we have a thermal or mechanical energy and the heat is another form of energy that can be yield the work or can be produced from work spent by a system this is another form of energy that is called as heat energy so when heat is transferred into work there is proportion uh, there is a proportionality between work spent and uh, heat uh, uh, we can say heat disappearing so that form we will see uh, different uh, types of forms that we will see now if you see a uh, different forms of energy uh, mainly a uh, types of energy it has a uh, different parts uh, like uh, mainly we know that there are two forms of energy one is potential energy and another one is the uh, kinetic energy so if you see this is the potential kinetic energy and this is the potential energy so there are two parts of this energy it may be a potential or it may be a, a kinetic energy so if you see there are different forms of kinetic energy like mechanical energy uh, there is a actual motion or a displacement is there that is called as a mechanical energy second one is again thermal energy there is a flow of uh, we can say heat is there so that is called as a thermal energy then we have electrical energy then we have radiant energy and sound energy so these five forms of energy are the kinetic energy then other potential energy like chemical energy it is a form of potential energy similarly nuclear energy gravitational energy and again electrical energy is also part of a, a potential energy so all these either other forms or basic forms they are uh, transfer or they can classify into mainly two types of energy that is kinetic energy and a uh, potential energy so we know that uh, the mechanical energy it is nothing but the uh, sum of kinetic energy as well as potential energy mainly it is the sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy so this is one type of energy that is mechanical energy and there are also other types of energy that we will see 
so the next part in this uh, thermal power plant which is the sources of energy now if you see there are various sources of energy uh, either it may be a uh, renewable form of energy or it may be there are different forms of energy that we will see so we'll 